is affecting the nation is also being felt right here. There's a need for more school bus drivers. Reporter Natalie Gomez shows us why it's so hard to hire and keep new drivers. As a new bus driver, TJ Huber ran into some negatives when he first started out driving. And that's why many school districts are struggling. Where the shortage comes in is typically when we need someone, it's pick them up in the morning, drop them off in the afternoon, and it's just 20, 25 hours a week. Brooks adds that many new bus drivers don't qualify for benefits and then add that in with lack of hours and low salary. It's an ongoing problem. Say I have one who's scheduled, a, they needed a day off for graduation or, or, or medical issue, or whatever, and then someone calls in sick, then we're scrambling. To become a school bus driver, you must obtain a CDL license, be in good physical health, pass a drug and alcohol test, as well as a background check, and be at least 21 years old. My previous job I was in for 15 years, and my wife's a teacher, and when I decided to make a change, um, I looked for something that would accommodate uh, our lifestyle, our family lifestyle. It's an enjoyable profession. I really do enjoy it. Now Huber is driving close to full time, but the need for new drivers is still there. So Brooks is hoping to advertise on the buses driven around town in hopes that it will attract more candidates. For KX News, I'm Natalie Gomez. Starting pay for a bus driver in Minot is $18 an hour. Still to come on KX News at 6, we can